Hello, Scorpio, and welcome to your weekly energy read. This is a timeless read that is going to carry you and examine the energy that took place. Oh, that fell right out between the 16th of April and the 23rd of April. Everything that you need is below in the description box for you and your collective. And what you heard me doing in the background was shuffling. I did do the majority of it off camera. That is your energy oracle for this week's time frame. And you have the angel of strength. Scorpio, everything that you need is below in the description box for you and your collective. Let's go ahead and unpack this. This will be a general energy reading. All right. The card of 50. Um, first of all, I'm sending you prayers your way. Because I know that this is going to be a difficult energy. Fives bring instability and um, changes and conflict. Okay. And you're being guided. Um, your energy has you in the angel of strength. This is personal power and inner strength for what is going to come towards you this week. And again, I do apologize for that. Sending love and light your way. All right. Um, that energy of 50 is not a um, shabby energy. Um, we did have a couple things go down this week. Um, Mercury retrograde, the sun sliding from Aries into Taurus, as well as an eclipse. All right. I did do a video and commentary on that. If you're interested in where that is hitting you, you can check two places in the description box um, or the pinned comment below the video. Um, it's going to give you the most recent playlist and that video should be there. Personal power and strength. This actually is, um, this amazing angel is going to bring news that this is a time of increasing power. It's not a time to be passive or submissive, but to speak your truth and take action on your own behalf. All right. It's telling you that you are greater, that you are capable of taking greater control and directing your own destiny, Scorp, for the power that comes from within reaches out to the universe and beyond. All right. Um, I... If I hit this thing one more time today, guys, I'm sorry. Let me check the frame. There we go. I'm going to tell you, though, that I know for a fact that when that angel of strength shows up, you're being guided to pull strength from areas you didn't even know you had. You know, you're probably tired of going through the same darn thing over and over again. Or you're feeling like what you're doing is yielding the same results. Um, and yes, there's more um, instability and conflict that's coming. But you're resilient. That doesn't mean that people that are resilient get tired. I mean, uh, or feel like it's a damn walk in the park to constantly have to deal with things that upset them. The lovers. Nine of Wands. It's been a very, very powerful card. This is for... Um, no, that's not what I meant to say. It's been a card that has been very popular. Just about every Zodiac sign has gotten the Nine of Wands. The King of Wands. This is for Scorpio. Two of Cups. This is definitely a, a love situation. We, we don't have to spin it that way in the general. Five wands in the past. Present energy is justice. Justice is coming. That's a good thing. Let's build. Yes. Wands. I already told you that that's that energy of five. So now we have an energy of conflict, coil, and competition in the past. An energy of constant competition, fighting, one-upmanship. An energy of you feeling as if you've had it. You'll fight, you'll defend yourself. But when does it end, for Christ's sakes? It's an energy of why is this constantly what I have to deal with? Okay. Um, 
everybody's trying to do the same thing. All these wands in their hand. Present energy brings justice. Um, balance is coming. Truth is coming. Help is coming. Um, which is very, very well. I mean, it pairs well with the angel of strength. That's what we want to see. But this is a love, this is a love story. There is definitely an energy of you and another on your mind this week. The bond. The love bond, the deep spiritual connection between you and another, Scorp. That's what we're dealing with here. All right? How it has been very challenging. But there is a passion that you have for this situation. For those of you who are not coupled in a general, general energy read, take this deep spiritual connection and apply it to something that you love. For the majority of you, it will be another person. But you have to be creative. There is a love for another thing, person, place, or thing that you know that has brought some, some, some regrets, some pain to you. But the passion and the drive and the, and, 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 and the intensity of this connection is not one that you can just walk away from that you feel in your head. You could feel like every single time. And then if we look at, let me be, before I get into that, if we look at the past and we look at the present, you go back and forth and fight this fight with this person. You are in the round, 12 rounds with this individual Toe to toe, 10 toes down. Loyal to your love is what this feels like. Loyal to the fight is what this feels like. It doesn't matter what this five of wands brings. You're loyal to it. You will fight the fight. And you still got a little bit more stamina, but you're not happy about it. But you feel that this is what you must do. For what you love. You're loyal to the fight. You're loyal to sticking it out. You're loyal to this. This could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio that you're dealing with. Um, a person that definitely has Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in their chart. You could be a Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, but has strong fight in your chart. All right? This is a I'm passionate. I know what I want. This is what I want. If this is what we have to do, then I'm down. I'm down for the fight. I'm committed to the cause. My answer is here. Yet, my answer is yes. My answer is I'm, I'm doing this with you. Justice is here. So justice almost brings an energy of, yes, this is what we've been doing. Yes, sometimes it feels unfair. Yes, it has been BS in this past position but justice brought you a sense Scorpio of I didn't do this in vain I didn't do that because it was Tuesday <laughs> I didn't just do this because I didn't have nothing else better to do with my time I did this because for the love of this individual for the togetherness of this person for what this person brings to me People don't understand how loyal you can be. You run your mouth and tell people, you know, this person did this, this person did that, or to your thing, to your person, place, or thing. It's been nothing but drama. It's been this person's crazy. I don't like the way they talk to me, da, da, da. Or I don't know why I work this job. I don't know why I keep dealing with this car or why I keep taking this crap off my sister. They don't understand how you feel. Scorpio, you have the ability to look past certain things for what you love, okay? And this is an established bond with this individual, with this person, place, or thing. You in 10 toes down in the round, and we'll go continue to go completely 12 rounds or more rounds than you need to because every single time you even thought about walking away, justice comes back and make you feel like it is all okay, that you're not wasting your time. Good luck, Scorps. Like, share, and subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. We're going to go ahead and end it there for everyone else. 
I will see you next week in your reading. And for those of you who are going to um, continue with me, I'll see you in your extension. Bye, guys.